They call him Seaton, the man of legends. Hey guys, it is Seaton here. Hello and welcome to the 61 Tempest guide. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you the easy way to play 61 Tempest, which is extremely effective. So this uh, way pretty much involves uh, a total of uh, three main macros and also one cooldown macro. Now, initially, this spec is not played like any other spec in the game, so it may take a little while to get used to, uh, but when you get used to it, it can just dominate on the DPS and um, and it is by far the best ranged DPS spec, if not one of the only viable ones for warriors. So uh, I'm going to talk you through the rotation now. So as you can see, I've got three macros. Um, now the first macro that I have uh, has electricity cascade, dual pulse, um, and delayed pulse and shock pulse in. Um, the second macro has arc charge pulse, double pulse, flame spear, and electricity blast. And the third macro has skyfall and lightning torrent. Now, initially, on upon first seeing these macros, which uh, Skirch uh, from Galindra helped me out with, um, I was a bit confused about how it all worked, and then I spent about 10 minutes in front of the dummy, and I'm like, wow, this, this is perfect, it makes perfect sense, everything times in perfectly, so, you know, why not do this, it's just awesome. So, uh, basically, you start off the rotation by using macro number 3, which is the Lightning Torrent macro, so uh, I'll just start off by channeling that, and then I'll go into macro number one, cast electricity cascade, and then press it again for a dual pulse, and then press it again for either a delayed pulse or shock pulse, and then I'll move into macro number two, cast an arc, and then uh, I'll use a charged pulse and a dual pulse, which will consume two ticks of the arc. Now, um, the next uh, thing queued is Flame Spear, and then after Flame Spear it will cast an Electricity Blast, and then after that you should still have, uh, well, I actually wasn't quick enough then, but one stack of arc which will increase the damage of your Skyfall, and then you just start from square one, so I'll do that a bit more sped up this time. So, Lightning Torrent, and then Electricity Cascade, Dual Pulse, Delayed Blast, or shock pulse, and then arc, charge pulse, double pulse, and then let's pop in skyfall, I'm not entirely sure why that one didn't have a benefit from arc, but as you can see guys, it is as simple as literally hitting the macro a couple of times till you get combo points, and then moving on to the next macro using the finisher on top of that, and then just cycling through them, so it's extremely straightforward and it'll take you about five minutes or so maybe to get into the swing of things but once you get into the swing of things it's really straightforward to use now uh sort of moving on to uh the big cooldown which is is quite uh quite an important part of this build now the cooldown that you have is wavelength which causes your charge pulse and dual pulse to be have no cooldown and be allowed to cast instantly so basically, uh, when using this macro, well, for example, if you're starting off a boss fight, what you'd do is you'd go in for the Lightning Torrent, and then you go to Macro 1, Electricity Cascade, get that up, Dual Pulse, Delayed Blast, and then get Arc, and then what I do is I cast the Dual pul Charge Pulse and Dual Pulse, and then I go into this macro, and then I press it until I have three combo points, use another Arc, and then just spam this macro until Wavelength is end ended its duration, essentially speaking. So yeah, just spamming that, and once the macro has finished casting, then it'll go into Charge Pulse, it'll do Skyfall, and then you'll channel a Lightning Torrent, and you are back to square one. So just follow the same rotation, and you can see, you can see at the moment I'm pulling about sort of a... Uh, 13 to 14k DPS, although this does heavily uh, fluctuate with Tempest. In a raid environment with my gear, I could probably do about uh, 19k-ish, uh, which is pretty awesome, because Tempest benefits extremely heavily um, from sort of energy reduction buffs that a Chloromancer and a Bard give, uh, because it's just so energy intensive, the spec. So, uh, yeah, that is it for the spec, guys. It's extremely straightforward to play. Um, I, I'll, I'll just talk about the, a bit about the AoE rotation as well. But why not, guys? I got time. Um, so, while the spec isn't ideally used for AoE, when you have an AoE rotation, you kind of have a priority list. So, on them, one of that priority list is use Storm Torrent whenever it's off cooldown. So, channel that, and then you're... AoE finisher will be Chain Pulse, and then Electricity Blast, and then basically spam Offensive Blast while being sure to keep 
electricity blast up, and whenever, whenever it's off cooldown, you use Storm Torrent. And it appears that I'm, I've lagged out here slightly. So yeah, that is it for the end of the video, guys. I'm sorry about the crappy connection on the end, uh, but I'll write down uh, a few things for you to <clears throat> note. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching, and I really do appreciate your viewership. Ah, brilliant, I've disconnected from the server. Gotta love old Virgin Broadband. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like, subscribe, share it with a friend. And, yeah, cheers, guys.